another video by Simply Learn. In today's video, we're going to be learning all about the five top front end skills you should know that will help you land a job in 2022. So, if you're wishing to become a front end developer, then you're in the right place. This video will help you out. But before we begin, if you haven't subscribed to our channel already, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to never miss an update. So let's begin. Now let's say you're using an Instagram application. Every time you refresh, new content is loaded onto your screen. You can like a picture, add new ones, search for profiles and do much more. Although it provides a seamless user experience, there's a lot that goes in the back end as well. So every application typically consists of the front end, the back end and the database. Together, they form the full stack. So what exactly is front-end development then? Now front-end development is the part of web development that develops and creates the website's front-end elements or features. Now a front-end developer in a sense is responsible for everything that you see. It could be text, alignment, navigation, colors, etc. Now the main objectives of front-end development is responsiveness and performance. So now that you know what front-end development is, Let's look at the skills that will help you land a job. First up is the foundation. So first things first, to become a front-end developer, you need to start with HTML, move on to CSS and JavaScript. Now these are the actual fundamental languages for front-end development. HTML is used to structure our web pages, CSS is used to make them beautiful and JavaScript is used to make the program run and add interactivity. However, knowing just these will not help you. You will have to learn the second important skill that is frameworks. Now there are several front-end frameworks that make development way easy. Now to name a few or the most important ones, we have React, there's Angular, Vue, jQuery and Ember. Now I'm sure you must have heard of these frameworks. React is a UI development library written in JavaScript. Although React is just a library and not a framework, its usage is rampant nowadays. React goes beyond simple UI and has many extensions like Flux and React Native for complete application architecture support. Talking about Angular, again, this is an OpenScript JavaScript framework based on TypeScript. So as a framework, Angular offers advantages and it also provides a standard structure for developers in a team to work with. You know, it allows users to create huge applications that are easy to manage. Talking about Vue, it is also an open source JavaScript framework and is again used to build user interfaces for single page applications. Now I'm sure you must have heard of jQuery, which is again a trendy JavaScript framework and an application development platform. It is leaner, it is fast loading and comes with features that make life of a JavaScript application developer more accessible. It is used more and more to be the foundation and the primary driving force of web development today. And lastly, we have Ember, which is again an open source JavaScript client side framework. It comes with built-in environment with fast rebuilds, auto reload and a test runner. So these are some of the frameworks that you're expected to be proficient at. Now the third skill that is crucial is version control system. Now we use version control systems to track our code, history and work more collaboratively with others. That's why you will find it in every job description. Now there are multiple version control systems available in the market today. There's Git, there's Subversion, etc. So just focus on Git which is the most popular one and don't worry about other version control systems. Knowing these version control systems will definitely add more credibility to your resume. The fourth skill that is crucial is the CSS preprocessor. Now to give you an insight into why we need preprocessors, CSS is an old language and it has its own limitations. If you write CSS for medium or large size applications, your code starts looking messy. So every time you want to change something, you end up breaking something else. Instead, you can make use of a CSS preprocessor. Now a preprocessor is a program or a tool that lets you generate CSS from a different language that is better and more compatible than CSS. So instead of using plain CSS, you can use another language that looks pretty similar with CSS. We give our code to a CSS preprocessor that converts it into plain CSS which every browser understands. 
That's the purpose of CSS preprocessors. There are many of these available today. There's SAS, LESS and STYLUS to name a few. And lastly, the most important skill required is testing and debugging. Now, a very important aspect of web development is to make sure that the end result is error free, free of bugs and seamless experience for the user. Therefore, the ability to test and debug a website is another essential skill that a front end developer needs to have. There are various methodologies that can enable front end developer to make sure that the websites or the product not only looks good, but also functions smoothly. So although these are the top five skills that a front end developer must possess, he must also have good communication and interpersonal skills. A good understanding of APIs and how the app needs to behave is crucial to make a good developer. So you must be wondering how can Simply Learn help you with this? Well, you could get started by acquiring a Simply Learn certificate. All you need to do is head to our Simply Learn page and type in full stack developer. You'll get a brief overview of the course and what it offers. If it suits your requirements, you can go ahead and enroll for it. Having this course certification will definitely boost your resume. And so with that, we come to the end of this session on top skills required to become a front-end developer. If you have any doubts or queries, let us know in the comment section below. We'll be back with more videos soon. Until then, keep learning and stay tuned to Simply Learn. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.